Switches provide a means where a sound played for a particular event will be based on the status of some other input from the game. For example, as a player walks through the world, a footstep call will likely be used to trigger the sound of a footstep, but another call can be used to communicate what surface the player is on for the purpose of choosing the appropriate type of footstep sound. To explore how this works, we have a project already set up with a player footstep event, and then two random containers, one for the sound of footsteps on concrete, and the other on gravel. We'll explore how to use switching to automatically select the appropriate sound that matches the material the player's character is walking on. We'll first need to create a new switch group object. Switch groups are very much like event objects as they provide a receptor for information that will be received from the game. Go to the Game Syncs tab within the Project Explorer. Click the default work unit underneath the Switches folder, and then click the Create New Switch Group icon. A switch group object is created, and its name must match the name of the corresponding call being sent from the game engine. In this case, we'll use Material. Now that we have a switch group for Material, we need to identify the various possibilities, such as concrete, gravel, and dirt, that are to be associated with the switch group. Each option needs to be represented by a switch object contained within the switch group. With the material switch group selected, click the Create New Switch icon and create a new object for concrete, dirt, and gravel. As with the switch group, these switch names must match the calls being transmitted from the game engine. Now that we have a switch group configured, we need to set up how it's going to be set up to choose the appropriate sound during game play. This is achieved using a switch container. Switch containers are created back in the actor mixer hierarchy and found within the audio tab. The sounds you want to choose between need to be set up as children of a switch container. So we'll select the footstep random containers, concrete and gravel, right click, choose new parent, and then select switch container. We'll name this container Footsteps. You need to now associate the Footsteps switch container with the switch group you created earlier. Select the Footsteps switch container, and in the Property Editor under the General Settings tab, you'll see a Switch Group Selection button. Click it, choose Switch Groups, and then select the Material switch group you created earlier. Just below, you can also set a default value for the switch, so in the event the game does not communicate the surface that the player is on, Wise will know which switch should be assumed. In this case, we'll choose Concrete. Now, in the Footsteps Contents Editor, you'll see that on the left side, you have the random containers that have our sounds, and on the right, you have the switches you created earlier in the switch group. All you need to do now is associate which sounds go with which switch. This is a simple drag and drop process. In this case, we'll take the concrete random container and drag it to the concrete switch. We'll take gravel, place it on the gravel switch, and notice that we don't yet have a sound for dirt. That's okay, because you can drag a sound to multiple switches to serve as a stand-in in the event you end up not creating a unique sound for that particular material. In this case, we'll use the, let's use the gravel sound for dirt. Our switch container is ready to go. We just need to connect the switch container to the player footstep event that's already been created in this project and then test it out. In the event viewer, click the player footstep event and then drag the footsteps switch container to the first line in the actions list. Click on the player footstep event again so that, player, so that the transport has the focus and then click play. We hear the sounds of the footstep on concrete. This confirms that the player footstep event is connected to the footsteps switch container, but you'll still need to test the switching mechanism. We can see in the transport that there's a switches button. 
With this selected uh, to the right, we'll see any uh, switch groups that uh, relate to this particular object. And then we'll see a pull down menu of any of the switches related to that switch group. Let's switch this to gravel. Now we're simulating the footsteps on gravel. By pressing play, we hear the gravel footsteps. Now let's try dirt. If you remember, we actually set the gravel random container to the dirt switch. We continue to hear the gravel sounds, which means that this switch is working appropriately.